Welcome back to Cooking with Bo. Today we're gonna make uh, roasted vegetable sandwiches. And for that we need uh, eggplant, zucchini, red pepper, portobello mushroom, garlic, um, hot, this is a cayenne hot pepper, red, red pepper we call, uh, very spicy, and olive oil. Uh, the eggplant, we have to start with, a, with that vegetable because it's a little bit bitter. So I start slicing, slicing and I will soak uh, the eggplant for half an hour in a salty water. One more slice, I think we'd be capable to make it and that's all. We need to wait half an hour. And meanwhile, I'm gonna roast the pepper on a fire uh, because I have to peel the skin off and marinate with the garlic and olive and red crushed pepper. So let's go do it. While the eggplant is soaking in the salted water, I'm gonna grill the pepper. Usually uh, during the summer, summertime, I do this outside on a grill, but you also can do it at home, it's very easy. I'm reheating my grill pan for portobello mushroom, zucchini and eggplant. And now I will roast it my pepper directly on the fire. That's easy to do it. Same way I do outside when I'm grilling outdoor. We have time so I can slice zucchini and make sure the grill is hot. It smells nice in the kitchen. Uh, the pepper is, has a lot of sugar, so it's like a burnt sugar, but my smoke detector might go off. So I'm gonna put an exhausted fan. So you're gonna hear a little bit noise on the background. Uh, and I'm going to turn the pepper. Okay. And now for the pepper, I need, as I said, a garlic and dry red crushed pepper. So too easy enough because it's very very hot now I put this to the plate I need some oil it's like quarter cup depends how much how many pepper you roast one one quarter cup of the oil add like a full teaspoon of garlic. Oh, I love garlic. One and a half. Okay, let's go check our pepper. And meanwhile, I can slice the zucchini. They have to be completely burned. Uh, it's better when you have a bigger one, big pepper. I have, unfortunately today, small red peppers. It's more work to do it. With a big one, it's much easier, trust me. Okay, they have to be whole covered with a black skin, burned skin. The grill, grilling pan is very, very hot. I'm putting portobello mushroom face down. So we're gonna start with three, three minutes on each. Three minutes, two minutes on it. I put some garlic and I put some salt on it. My pepper. It takes a while. I think I have to make it a little bit. Okay, I can check my pepper. It takes a while. I think I. Have to make it a little bit 
on fire. Okay. okay, this is the second zucchini. Take the tips off. And let's go the long way. We're cutting the zucchini the long way. And let's go check our mushrooms. I think mushrooms are ready. I'm gonna flip them. Okay, and now I will put the garlic on the top of each head. Okay, and some salt. I think it's plenty. That's for another five minutes. And seems like our pepper is ready, so it has to be completely burned. Mushrooms are done. I'm gonna place them here. The pepper is getting cold. Meanwhile, I'm gonna put the veggies in the oven. You can do it on a grill, but it takes too long. So I soak them out, the eggplants. I put them, I place them on a parchment paper, one by one. Now I'm gonna give it to Still got some skin. This is skin, that's not a good one. I think I'm gonna cut one more. One more zucchini and now I will brush the vegetables with the olive oil. And I'm also gonna put some a little bit of salt on the zucchini. I'm not gonna put an egg one because it was soaking. And now it goes to the oven for 25 degrees and uh, bake until it's mostly 15 minutes to 20 minutes. Okay, and let me put my gloves on because you can do it without the gloves, but your hands will become very, very dirty. I'm gonna take the skin from the pepper and uh, cut in pieces and uh, put in a oil I have here, red crushed pepper. The only to that I have to put a little bit of salt. I do by eye like a half a teaspoon. So we take the skin of the pepper, as I said, if the pepper is bigger, it's much easier to do it and quicker. After I clean the whole pepper, I will cut in a half. I will take the seeds out and I put this one on the side and I go to the next one. I'm going to clean this one, then I clean my table and start clean them again one more time and those little pieces it's good to use a paper towel it's very helpful to get the skin off okay I'm gonna clean the table I already cut one pepper I took the seeds out this is the second one and let's go do it I cut, depends what kind of pepper you have, you can cut in three pieces or four pieces. Depends how big it is. I do want three because it's not that big. I'm 
now it's heat. If you miss one, nothing happens. Next one and one more. Next I'm gonna slice the portabella mushroom. The roasted pepper is also very good like for the sandwiches. Uh, you can make more and you can put in the fridge and it's good for at least three days. See, I missed one seed. And now I'm gonna mix together with the garlic and red fresh pepper. It's very tasty. Okay, let's stand for a while. I'm gonna wait for the vegetables. They're still in the oven. After 20 minutes, the zucchini looks like that. It's soft, you can touch with your finger. When they soft, they good. Meanwhile, I'm gonna put, I cut, I split the buns. I'm gonna put them in the oven for five minutes and just let them get hot. And I keep the, in the oven, the excellent, just three more minutes. Three minutes pass. I'm gonna take the eggplant out from the oven. And look at this beautiful. Let me take the bounce. Now we can assemble the sandwich. Oh, warm and crispy, very good. First, I will put some pepper on the bottom. This very good roasted pepper with the garlic. Spicy, and I will drizzle some to the oil on the opposite side of the sandwich. Garlic and roasted pepper. I will put the eggplant, the whole slice, and I will put some zucchini. Oh, I forgot about the mushroom. See, we have some mushroom. So I put like mushroom, they were sliced, so oh. quarter of avocado and it's delicious sandwich it's ready it's very fulfilled we close it okay and we can cut in a half and you hear how crunchy the bread is and that's how it looks you have to taste it, otherwise it's hard to say which is good or not. I hope you will like it.